Hello and welcome to the Ed Hoddle Show. I'm Greg Royce, joined here by Stevenson head football coach Ed Hoddle. And coach, um, last Saturday you played Misericordia and um, got, had a big uh, 65-7 to win. Um, just talk a little bit about the victory. Uh, it was a good team win. Uh, made a couple plays in special teams. Obviously, uh, 674 yards of total offense and eight touchdowns was um, quite impressive. You know, we, we scored on 11 of 12 drives. We didn't punt until the fourth quarter. Um, you know, obviously, to have that type of offensive success, you've got to have some defensive success as well. And um, once we settled into the game plan, I, I think the guys played particularly well. And you know, it was a good team win for us and, and good to go into the bye week after a performance like that. Yeah. Despite even, like you said, you scored on 11 and 12 drives, but it still didn't really feel like – it felt like they were moving the ball a little bit. And really, until it started the second half when you guys scored like three times in the first eight minutes, did it really feel like a comfortable working margin? Right. You know, again, I think, and I think we talked about a pregame. What they do offensively is, is a bit of a challenge. And, you know, we had to really, really fine tune what we were doing defensively and get them off the field and get them off schedule. So as we got into the actual game and, and were able to make the adjustments, um, it, it did have a little bit of a different feel. And hats off to them. You know, that, that's a program that's, you know, we feel like is on the rise and doing a nice job. Yeah. Uh, obviously, Dan Williams, another big day, almost 400 yards passing, five touchdowns. Um, you know, program record for yards. Um, another record that kind of flew under the radar a little bit is Ian Gould, your freshman kicker. Um, mm -hmm. 17 points, 3 for 3 on field goals, 8 for 8 on extra points. Hasn't missed a PAT this year. Talk about what he's meant so far to the program. I mean, the biggest thing that, that, that Ian's brought to us thus far is crazy consistency in the kicking game. Um, you know, he's, he's perfect on PATs, like you said. And the one miss, the one field goal miss he has, you know, we put him in a bad spot 45 yards out yeah. with the wind in his face and, and, you know, when we were playing Kings. So, you know, he, he just brings this consistency. He, he's not an emotional guy. He's a guy that just goes out and does his job. And, you know, that's really, really refreshing to see a young kid be able to go out and no moment's been too big for him yet. He just goes out and does his job. And um, he's a remarkable student and a really, really good guy to have in our program. And we feel like, you know, the future is very, very bright for him. Yeah. And obviously with, with the win, you were able to get some different guys in and some different guys scored as well, Sebastian, uh, Daquan Hill. Was it, was it nice to get some different guys in the action, get some different guys involved? It is. You, whenever you can get varsity snaps for your younger players, it's huge. Um, that's the one thing that you can never replicate in practice and, and, and really becomes a commodity as you work to develop players is those varsity snaps. And, you know, having those guys have an opportunity to go out and have success on Saturday is, is very exciting. And it's really fun to watch our sideline when, when the younger guys get yeah. a chance to, to score or make a big play. And to see the older guys being, you know, as excited as they are for the younger guys is, is a really, really cool thing to watch. Yeah, absolutely. Um, now you've got the bye week this week. Um, I was probably one of the primary goals is to get healthy, not just not just guys that aren't playing, but guys that are maybe a little banged up. I know everybody's a little banged up this time of year, but um, just get some guys maybe closer to 100% in the off week. That's the key is, is, you know, I left them with yesterday post-practice was, you know, use this time. Obviously, academics are going to be really, really important, but, but getting off your feet, getting some much-needed rest and getting those extra treatments in the training room and, and getting back to as close as you can be to 100%. And, you know, you look at where we are in the conference, you know, we're tied for second, and, I, and anything can happen, as, as it often does in the MAC. And, you know, we've got to stay focused week to week, and, and this week the focus is, is rest and get better and get caught up on your schoolwork and we've got to win this week as well it's you know just because we don't have a game on Saturday doesn't mean the mentality changes at all, all right. for our players and you know after yesterday's practice you know we feel pretty good it was it was an up-tempo practice I don't know if they were excited to be at practice yesterday or they were excited that they didn't have to get up at six six o'clock and <laughs> practice this morning um, but it was there was a lot of energy out there and then the guys seemed focused yeah it's probably a little bit of both on that one absolutely um, well coach thanks for your time um Enjoy the rest of the off week, and um, I'm sure we'll be back next week to talk about uh, Lebval. Thank you. All right. For Ed Hoddle, I'm Greg Royce, and this has been the Ed Hoddle Show.